As you know, uh, Gary Cohn, the um, the total scumbag who uh, brought us the uh, corporate tax giveaway, uh, the guy who saved millions upon millions of dollars by being able to tax defer his investment in Goldman Sachs as a former Goldman Sachser um, by performing public service. This was under a, a law or an executive order signed by George W. Bush. Um, he's pretending he's leaving because of uh, tariffs, uh, the White House, when in fact it's because he was overlooked as Fed chair in similar fashion to his overlooking the fact that um, his boss was at least partially pro-Nazi. Right? I mean, that's a fair assessment. Like, you think he cares about sad. that? Well, no, but I think that when he went to Shoal and had to justify it to his uh, friends, like, Gary, how? what are you doing? You're supporting a guy who supports Nazis. Well, if I'm not there, the stock market will fall or something. There was something to that effect. And they were like, oh, well, OK. Um, and uh, so he's leaving. And just for one final humiliation, Donald Trump wanted to call this guy a Jew. And uh, he realized that's somewhat inappropriate. So good for Trump. Uh, there was not a DOJ consent decree insisting that he not call Gary Cohen a Jew on the way out the door. But he did the next best thing. If you are a member of the alt-right, if you are a, uh, a neo-Nazi or a white, you know, supremacist, I guess, some of them, depending on, um, white nationalist, you're certainly going to get what Donald Trump is getting at here. This is Gary Cohn's last meeting in the cabinet and of the cabinet, and he's been terrific. He may be a globalist, but I still like him. <laughs> he is seriously a globalist, there's no question. But you know what, in Did his you? own way, he's a nationalist because he loves our country. And uh, where is Gary? Thank you, sir. You love our country. I do. I do. Wow. A lot of guys in that room. You know, so I do even see like even the hint of a um, of, of a woman in there. And then what are the, what are those rockets? These uh, are these projectiles that they have on the table. Uh -oh. I just wanted to show uh, uh -oh. Kim Jong Un. You got a big wow. rocket. You got a really big penis that we put in the middle of the. <laughs> That's really something. Uh, so there it is, Gary Cohn uh, heads for the exits. Uh, will there be a new uh, chief economic advisor? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, let's face it, folks. We have no diplomatic corps in regards to uh, North Korea or, at, it appears, South Korea. So Donald Trump is completely freelancing this. Uh, Digby and I will talk about it in just a moment, but pretty impressive. Is it possible that Trump doesn't know that globalist has come to mean Jew in many contexts? Um, it's possible. Anything's possible, particularly when the Jews are But involved. I'm curious as to what he thinks a globalist is. I think he has a vague idea. You think so? Like, what do um, you think he... Yeah, I mean, he ran on economic nationalism in many ways and the idea that globalization is bad. So I think he just thinks globalist equals bad. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like but Jew I don't. I mean, this is a bad. guy who is has uh, as much international investment and uh, outsourcing uh, of as as you could probably get in the context of business. And so, I'm just curious, like, what do you think? Gary Cohn is a globalist as opposed to Trump. I think that he just thinks it's about tariffs. Honestly, I'm. I mean. That's the only thing that I think that he could sort of wrap his mind. Like Trump got to get into a trade war. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's just hard for me to imagine Trump saying anything with like a hidden subtext. No, I agree with that as well. I mean, I guess, but I also think the he subtext probably thinks, is hidden from me too. <laughs> oh, do I think he's explicitly saying Jew and says like I can't say Jew? I'm going to say globalist. Yeah, I think he probably thinks that most Jews are globalists. Mm. Uh, I got to imagine finance. Some of that sneaky. 
came through. You know, Jew. Jew. Yeah, I guess it's not that subtle. Never mind. No, No, it's not really that subtle.